and then across the Israeli border to where they were launched from Gaza. He was visiting a small settlement in southern Israel, a region that's been hit by more than a thousand rockets. He expressed support for Israel's right to defend itself. It's clear that Israel has to stand up and has to fight terrorists and can't negotiate with anybody that's not willing to recognize Israel's right to exist. He said as the mayor of the city with the largest population of Jews in the world, both New York and Israel are joined not just by culture, but a more painful parallel. If any of us think that terrorism is something that is only going to strike the other guy, uh, you just have to go and look at the people here and understand that's not true. But this two-day trip wasn't all politics, it was personal as well. Mazel On Thursday, Bloomberg's 98-year-old mother, Charlotte, placed a scroll inside the cornerstone of what will become the $6.5 million William H. Bloomberg Emergency Medical Station in Jerusalem, named after the mayor's late father. Back in 2003, he financed an addition to a hospital in Hadassah in his mother's name. Uh, my mother is thrilled, aren't you, mother? Yes, she is. Bloomberg, who normally keeps personal disclosures close to the vest, spoke openly about his father's influence on him as a boy, although he died when the mayor was just 21. He said his dad was an air raid warden in his town outside of Boston during World War II and, despite little means, donated to the NAACP and other organizations. One time uh, I remember my father telling us that uh, Discrimination against anybody is discrimination against everybody. Next stop on his Middle East tour was Jordan. It's a country he's praised for its peaceful coexistence with Israel. Molly Kroon, New York One.